Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are covering interview based question and answers for Microsoft Information Protection Administrator role SC400. If you find this content helpful, please like, comment and subscribe. To find the complete list of question and answers, you can download the complete list of valid, tried and tested question and answers from the link provided in the description. Do share please. Our question is, can you discuss your experience with data recovery and classification tool integrated with Microsoft Information Protection? The answer should be, I have experience using data discovery and classification tools such as Microsoft Information Protection Scanner, Azure Purview or third party solutions to identify sensitive data across repositories, apply classification labels to enforce data protection policies based on content sensitivity. Our next question is how do you handle data protection requirements for cloud native applications and services in Microsoft Azure? The answer should be, I address data protection requirements by leveraging native security controls and services offered by Microsoft Azure such as Azure Information Protection, Azure Key Vault, Azure Active Directory and Azure Security Center. This ensures consistent protection and compliance of cloud native workloads. Our next question is, what strategies do you employ to ensure the data protection measures are aligned with business continuity and disaster recovery plans? The answer should be, I align data protection measures with business continuity and disaster recovery plans by incorporating data backups replication and recovery capabilities into data protection policies. This ensures that sensitive data remains accessible and protected during after disruptive events. Our next question is, how do you handle user requests for access to sensitive data protected by Microsoft Information Protection? The answer should be, I handle user request by following established access control procedures such as role based access control RBAC or data access request workflows. This involves verifying user identities, evaluating access permissions based on business needs and logging access activities for audit and compliance purposes. Our next question is, can you discuss your experience with incident response and forensic analysis related for data breaches or security incidents involving sensitive information? The answer should be, I have experience leading incident response efforts, conducting forensic analysis and coordinating remediation activities for data breaches or security incidents. This includes identifying the slope of the incident containing the threat, preserving evidence and implementing corrective actions to prevent future occurrences. Our next question is, how do you manage access controls and permissions for sensitive data stored in Microsoft 365 applications like SharePoint Online and OneDrive for Business? The answer should be, I manage access controls by defining permissions at the folder or document level, leveraging SharePoint's online permission, inheritance and unique permissions features. Additionally, I use sensitivity labels to enforce encryption and access restrictions based on data classification. Our next question is, can you discuss your experience with configuring data retention policies and retention labels in Microsoft 365 Compliance Center? 
the answer should be i have experience configuring data retention policies and labels to manage the life cycle of sensitive information in microsoft this involves defining retention periods specifying retention actions such as deletions or archival and applying policies based on content types location or sensitivity labels our next question is how do you handle conflicts between security requirements and business needs when implementing the data protection measures the answer should be i address conflicts by conducting risk assessments engaging stakeholders in risk discussions and finding a balance between security controls and business objectives this may involve implementing compensating controls obtaining waivers for specific business processes or revisiting risk tolerance thresholds if you are preparing for any microsoft based certification you can download the complete list of valid tried and tested question and answers from the link provided in the description wishing you all the very best thank you